Welcome back everybody, Barry Mumford here, want to wish us all a happy new year, 2018, the start of a brand new year and I can't wait because there's so much things in the pipeline, so much exciting things in the pipeline that I want to share with you and I want to, I just, I'm super excited, I'm really pumped for this year and to kick it off we're going to be doing a little bit of volumetric lighting, cinematic movies and in the, the shots with all the, the light rays beaming down, I'm going to show you how to do that, I've been playing around with them guys and it's been really fun, so we need one of these and a little bit Oh, yes, okay, is it okay? <whistles> Disclaimer folks, never shoot that at a camera, that's not weather sealed. The idea behind this, with the brand new Star Wars movie, The Last Jedi, just being released, I couldn't resist creating some sort of cinematic teaser trailer for 2018. Uh, and to do that, I thought the volumetric lighting would work a treat. So to create the volumetric lighting, it's really simple and it's so much fun, honestly. You'll need some foam core, some foam board. Basically, what we're doing to create that title sequence that you saw there, we're setting that up on a stand. We're setting this up on one with Pixar Pro LED 100D Mark II lights, which I kind of show you because of the busy light they're seeing now. And that's behind there. And what we're doing is just running that light with the, see with the grid? It's got the grid on, you need the grid on. I realized that when I was doing it, that to make the light source a really small point light source, as small as possible, and that helps to get all those lovely rays coming through the light. It's freezing in here. Should have really paid the heating. In fact, it up here then. Basically, what we're going to do, you're going to put the snoot on the light, you're going to fit the grid, see the grid? And that makes that a really small point light source. You're going to fill, pump the room full of smoke, and you're going to let it dis, 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 dis. You're going to disperse a little bit. We'll have a disperse. Disperse the smoke. Something like that. Fill the room with smoke. Get your card cut out, any shape, any right. And if you want to do the title that was in the video, cut a title out, just like that. And then once that room is full with smoke, switch that light on behind it. And what we're doing is we're just running that light behind, like that, right behind the writing. And basically all those light beams are just shooting through out of there to create that lovely volumetric light, just like this. Now, in that little teaser trailer, you've seen all those lovely light rays coming down on the figures. Now, to do that, basically use the same card with the same cutout and just flipped it up that way and pointed the light coming down, straight down through it, and just angle the card to get those lovely light rays direct to straight onto the figures exactly how we wanted. And that's how simple it is. It really is that simple. You can use any light source, and to prove you can use any light source, I've got a torture. We're gonna to do this. It's gonna get a bit smoky. When you are doing this, be warned, make sure that people know you're filling the room with smoke, okay? Because all the smoke filtered through into my house and people thought there was a problem. I'm not sure why, so be warned. So let's switch these lights off. We'll switch these lights off now. So there, I'm in complete darkness now. So that's where, ready? Can you see that? Man, just like that. 
Come back a bit further. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll switch the backlight off as well. Complete darkness, you ready? That's it. That's how easy, that's how effective it is. Might have to wait for the smoke to clear a bit for this one, mate. I think I best, uh, I'll open the door. Woo! So there you go. Probably do that right at the end, actually, the smoke bit. Just spent here just trying to waft that all out of the room. I'll tell you, create volumetric lighting, it's really fun really effective. I have linked to all of the gear that was used to create that little trailer in the description below guys so check them out and if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, flick that notification bell if you want to see when my next videos are posted and I'll see you next time. It's still freezing, it's still really cold.